I'm in the jungles of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula hunting brocket deer with Mario Canelas. Now listen, this is a wonderful hunt for probably North America's least known animal. But it's midday and it's hot, so I'm thinking of the high green hills of Tanzania's Mazayland. I'm often asked if I could do just one more hunt and I knew it, where would I go? Well, for sure it would be Tanzania and probably Tanzania's Mazayland. It's the most beautiful part of the country with the best weather. It's open plains overlooked by tall mountains. Mount Kilimanjaro is the most famous, but there's a lot of mountains in Mazayland. They rise out of a tall plateau so that there's elevation. It gets warm during the day, but it's always cool and pleasant at night. It's a beautiful country and one of the really classic safari countries. This is the area that gave us Ernest Hemingway's Green Hills of Africa and Robert Ruark's Horn of the Hunter. It's where the Mazai raise their cattle and still peopled by just a tremendous variety of wonderful wildlife, including all the great East African species. I'm often asked, why is Tanzania so darned expensive? Well, there's a lot of taxes and government fees and the cost of outfitting is just plain high. And so that's passed along to folks like you and me. But my friend Michelle Mantiakas has put together a, a really great 10-day Plains Game and Buffalo package in one of the very, very best Mazayland concessions. And he's cut his prices as much as is, is possible. You'll have a chance to hunt the beautiful Lesser Kudu, the Long-Necked Garanook, Grants, Thompson, and even Roberts Gazelle, White-Bearded Wildebeest, the beautiful little Kirk's Dick Dick, and you'll have a chance to go after one of those legendary wide-horned Mazayland buffalo. And it's, <clears throat> it's from a luxury tented safari camp, classic East African safari with a competent and professional staff, and it's outfitted by Michelle Mantiakas Safaris, one of the very best outfits in Tanzania. You know, I first hunted with Michelle 35 years ago when he was a very young PH. Yeah, I was a little younger myself back then, but I've watched him grow up. He's still a great PH, and he's turned into a really effective and successful and very, very competent outfitter, one of the best in Tanzania. So listen, if you have an interest in the East African Plains game and seeing a really beautiful part of Africa, uh, you need to think about this. One more Mazayland Safari is still on my bucket list, really should be on yours. And hey, maybe I'll see you there under the snows of Kilimanjaro. But right now, it's hot here in central Mexico, and I'm going to jump in this hammock and take a little nap before I go back to the jungle. Ah.